So why all the denial? Well, OK, I, I mean, we, we'll discuss that. But what Hongshan jade carvings can we see in museums in China, and can we learn anything from them? Shenyang Museum is a modern palace. That's it. It's a palace to modern man, and it has the Zhulong that I showed you sitting there proudly. It has this, this, which I wouldn't swap mine with, with, with that. By the way, Professor Guo, I asked him how he discovered New Heiliang. And he said, in, in 1980, he started excavating it. Having three days earlier, I'd shown him some pieces, taken my microscope, and he said, oh, no, those are all fake. I said, how do you know they're fake? He said, well, some farmers brought us some, and uh, they said they found them in the riverbed, and we sent them away because they were fake. Three days later, I said, how did you find New Heiliang? A farmer brought me a piece of jade, and I said, take me to the site. So, a little bit of inconsistency there. This is a famous, it's not a very good photograph, but this is the, the phoenix. Now, if we look at the tomb, the photograph I showed you earlier, um, where, when that was being excavated, ostensibly this tomb had never been touched. And there it is. Okay, it's sitting behind the head. But there's a, in the middle of the chest, there is a headpiece, and there's actually a stain here, which is quite strongly suggestive that this came from there. But the best evidence that this has been tampered with is anatomical, because this is a femur, and that's the head of the femur, and the lower end of the femur is articulating with the acetabulum. Uh, and when I mentioned this to Professor Guo, he said that he thought some rats might have moved it. Um, the, the, the scene, the, the opinion, is that this was an advanced culture, but definitely not as advanced as we are now. This is a scene of a tribal meeting of the matrilineal clan. Now, you can just see these guys carving all of these wonderful jades, can't you? Uh, there is a certain uh, element of um, wishing man, I mean, man has clearly improved. New Hei Liang's goddess is basically unbaked clay with two, uh, two um, jade eyes. And um, yeah, she was found there. She was found, uh, oh, this, is, this is Professor Guo with John, who's in the audience. The three of us went there in 2008. And um, that's, you know, we, he's very nice, took us around the site. I'll come back to the goddess, the goddess temple in a moment. New Heilang Burial Mound 13 is a, was a virgin burial mound in 2004. And I got a quote from him as to how much it would cost to excavate. And he said, 100,000 renminbi. I said, done. I can raise that in Hong Kong. It was turned down eventually. Four years later, I thought, ooh, that's a bit odd. Sudden subsidence after 5,000 years, or 5,004 years. Looked down, went down. And then there was an enormous hole which had been hastily filled in. Uh, Professor Guo wasn't aware of this. There he is looking in the hole. He phoned the security guards and they said, oh, funny thing you should mention that. We've noticed a hole there for the last two years. Um, and there are evidence of recent activity within the previous two weeks. You can see these, these, the limestone stones from the spoil tip had been pulled up. You know, partially blocked off the hole. A year later, I went back with, with, with um, my wife and another friend to see how they were doing. Uh, had they opened up this? I, again, we discussed, I tried to get them to open up, to actually send somebody in to find out what, what was inside. Uh, what there is, things have changed a bit. There's now the David Anderson Memorial Fence around the site which uh, we were able to climb under. It's barbed wire, but we, were, we would, might have had a difficulty driving a truck through it, I suppose. Um, but um, no explanation. I mean, you can still see the hole. It's been more or less fully filled in. But nobody's been in. Archaeologists, it seems, are not interested in finding out more about their prime uh, UNESCO-designated site, although I believe it's recently lost its designated status. The grave robbers clearly are. So maybe we don't have to look too far to understand why we can pick these things up in the Hollywood Road and on eBay. 
This is what the goddess temple looked like uh, uh, when it was excavated 10 or 12 years ago. And UNESCO managed to get, well, 200,000 renminbi from, from the World Bank to cover this site up. I mean, all it's got is, is, I mean, that's what it's got. So there's, that's the monument to man's unbelievable stupidity, I'm, in my opinion. That's actually Mr. Bauer walking across what is left of this excavation site. Um, complete madness. So conclusions are, enorm I conclude, enormous numbers of Hongshan jade carvings have been coming, flooding out of China. This culture was only discovered, only first described in 1906 by a Japanese archaeologist, and really only, only worked on at all in the 1930s by Japanese archaeologists, and only excavated, New Heilang was only excavated in, 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 in the 1980s. Um, I believe increasingly strong evidence to distinguish genuine from fake, and I would suggest the value of microscopy here. A uniquely interested shamanic Neolithic culture, I haven't really said anything about what I was supposed to be saying was a window on a Neolithic culture, but we can all look in, in our own way, onto this culture. And it's tremendously important. This predates, apparently, the Sphinx, the pyramids, and probably just about every Middle Eastern culture we know about. Superb art and iconography. I mean, they obviously, these were many of these pieces, they must, it must have been a very important part of their shamanic religion. Uh, seems to be apparent gross negligent disinterest. Uh, why? Um, is there a vested interest? What are the vested interests in denial? There are a lot of people with uh, reputations to defend, if I'm right, because that does mean they're wrong. Collective responsibility, I would suggest, to prevent further loss of archaeology in Hongshan burial sites. But we are in the unique position, in the absence of anyone else with any interest. It seems it's over to the much denigrated collector to actually piece this together. And we're supposed to be the people who are driving this problem. So I'll just leave you with back to the beginning. You know, which of these two do you find more credible? Because the one on the left, the one on the right, is worth 10,000 times as much as the one on the left. Thank you very much. <laughs>